Flavour is perhaps surprisingly complex. It was very understudied for a long time whilst there was lots of research into sight, uh, into touch, into hearing. It's been relatively neglected. We know that taste is an important component of flavour, taste buds on the tongue, but actually all they taste is five basic senses. That's sweet, sour, salt, bitter, and umami, which is a savoury taste. A lot of flavour comes from the nose, so whilst you're eating, um, chemicals uh, waft up into your nose and you smell um, most of the complexity of food. But it's really important to know that every sense contributes to flavour. So Flavour launched a little under two years ago to unite researchers working in all aspects of how we perceive food and drink. And the study we're looking at today um, is a useful addition to the literature on how sight, in this case the colour of orange juice, affects its flavour. So Joanne Hort, who's based at the University of Nottingham, uh, together with researchers at the University of Seville in Spain, wanted to assess whether the colour of orange juice affects its sourness, its sweetness, um, and also the enjoyment of the orange juice. What she did was she added food colouring to orange juice, quite small amounts of food colouring, so that she had subtle changes um, in the colour of the juice. She added uh, red food colouring to one sample and added green food colouring to another sample. So she was left with three samples of orange juice, one which was the control, which was orange, um, another with a slight green tinge and another with a slight uh, red tinge. We've decided to have some fun with this experiment at the Biomed Central offices. So we've repeated um, part of Professor Hort's study um, and asked our staff members to come and taste orange juice, which we've added food colouring to, and see if they can tell the difference or if the perception of the orange juice is changed um, from the colour that we have added. What's really important is if you're trying this at home is that the participants shouldn't know um, that they are comparing uh, the colour of the orange juices. So it's really important you do what's called a pairwise comparison. So we have one table which compares the control, normal orange juice, with one that we've added some green food colouring to. We have another table where we're comparing, again, the normal orange juice with one that we've added a red food colouring to. And finally, we have a comparison of the red orange juice with the green orange juice. Um, we think we've probably added a bit more food colouring um, than Professor Hort did, but we hope this means that we can um, reproduce some of her findings. We've invited all our members of staff to come in and taste each of the pairs of orange juice. They then have to fill out um, a form to say which of the two they think is more sour, uh, is more sweet, or has the most intense flavour. What we would expect is that those who are tasting green, um, the green orange juice versus the normal orange juice, will tend to rate the green as more sour. Um, similarly, on the green versus the red, we would expect, uh, given Professor Hort's results, that they would taste uh, the green as more sour than the red. So Professor Hort's study did not see any effect of the red orange juice. It'll be interesting to see in our hands, um, in this kind of fun uh, experiment we're doing, whether the red dye has any effect, because we've probably added more of the colouring um, than she did. So there's a, now a large amount, a growing amount of literature on how one sense affects another. Um, and one of the really valuable things about flavour is that all the research which is published is open access. So you don't need a library subscription to access the articles. Um, and this is critical for a journal um, like Flavour, which is trying to also get contributions from food and drink professionals. Um, we have had submissions from chefs, and they're very unlikely to have uh, library subscriptions. So they can read all the research published in Flavour and um, free to access from our website.